Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the first ever 2021 virtual Southwest Tech Nursing Pin Ceremony. My name is Dr. Cindy Larson, and I'm the Dean of Health Occupations and Services. On behalf of the administration, the faculty, and the staff of Southwest Tech, we thank you for sharing in this milestone. The pinning ceremony is a symbolic welcoming of newly graduated nurses into the nursing profession. Traditionally, new nurses are presented with nursing pins by the faculty of the nursing school. The graduates participating in this ceremony are entering into a profession that will require knowledge, expertise, skill, and commitment. Nursing is a profession that focuses on the assistance of individuals, families, and communities in attainment, maintenance, and recovery of optimal health and function. Nursing is characterized as both a science and an art, which focuses on the promotion of wellness and the quality of life throughout the lifespan, from birth to the end of life. Your presence, skills, and expertise will be valued by those you serve, your patients, your families, and your colleagues. You, as family, friends, and peers, have supported and sacrificed for these candidates. You did not give up on them or let them give up on themselves. You all share in this rite of passage with our candidates and we thank you. To the candidates, always remember the commitment to your profession. It may at times be difficult and may test every fiber of your beings. Never forget your hard work, your skill, your empathy, and above all, your love of nursing. Practice your art, support your colleagues, Devote yourselves and be a credit to your profession. Congratulations to you all and thank you. And I now have the pleasure of introducing your master of ceremonies, Misty Thill. Thank you, Dean Larson. Um, good evening, my name is Misty Thill. I'm a member of the graduating class of 2021, a student nurses association member and a student senate representative. I'm a wife, a mom, a full-time student and a practicing LPN. My fellow graduates and I would like to especially welcome our families and friends, representatives from the community and clinical sites. In particular, we would like to welcome Dean Cindy Larson and Pete Esser. Dr. Jason Wood was unable to be in attendance this evening, but wanted to send along a message to share with all those in attendance. Congratulations to our nursing grads. We honor and recognize you at this special nurses pinning ceremony. Thank you for your amazing work. We appreciate your accomplishments during this pandemic. It was no small feat to get to this moment and we recognize your excellence. As you know, you will be helping people, saving lives and serving others. Thank you for those who are in attendance tonight who support our students. They couldn't do it without you and we're grateful for the help you give them. One of the, my favorite quotes from my graduation at college was, the most important work you will do is within the walls of your own homes. Sorry I could not be there in person or live. I'm doing something I promised my two youngest daughters almost a year ago. But please know that I stand in support of all you've learned, all you've accomplished, and all you will do on the job. I'm proud of your work. Take care, be happy, and do awesome stuff. Thank you. Thank you all for being here this evening as we celebrate the completion of our nursing education at Southwest Tech. We soon will begin our career as professional nurses. I now ask that Don Adkins come forward. Good evening, everyone. I am going to be presenting the Friend of Nursing Education and I'm happy to introduce Pete Esser. Pete Esser has taught at Southwest Tech since 1990. He is currently in his 11th for serving on the Gunderson Basketball Hospitals Clinic's Board of Directors. As an educator, Pete specializes in the creation of web-based learning material, materials that can be used by teachers, students, and the general public. In recent years, he has concentrated on writing and publishing information for nursing students seeking to improve their drug calculation skills. Inspired by the questions and requests from Southwest Tech nursing students, 
He has recently released a comprehensive textbook titled Dimensional Analysis in Nursing. He greatly enjoys opportunities to work with Southwest Tech nursing students in both individual and group settings. Pete and his wife, Lisa, live in Boscobel along with their colleague, Sammy. In his spare time, Pete likes buying and restoring neglecting motorcycles. Thank you, Pete X, sir, for being a friend of nursing education. Thank you so much, Thanks. Pete. Yeah. Thanks, Don. Um, first of all, yeah, thank you. Um, I'd like to say congratulations to our talented graduating class of 2021. I hope they've been able to help you in some manner, either directly or through my website. Some of you will return the favor by helping me when I need healthcare expertise. Believe me, when you turn 50, get past that, look out. So I'm gonna need your help. Um, second, I wanna recognize our outstanding nursing faculty. What an incredible group of teachers, truly. It has been great working with you this year. Uh, the timing of this recognition reminds me of a Bob Ross quote. You know Bob Ross, right, the painter? Um, he said, you gotta have opposites, dark and light, light and dark in a painting. It's like in life, you have a little sadness once in a while. <clears throat> So, you know, when the good times come. The, the timing of this award is perfect. And it really does inject um, needed dose of light. So it, <clears throat> I appreciate it that much more. I'd like to offer a few comments about motivation and how it can help you find a fulfilling job. When Gunderson Health System CEO, Dr. Scott Rathgaber stepped into his current role, he requested that everybody in leadership read Daniel Pink's book about intrinsic motivation titled Drive. Dr. Rathgaber's intent was to pr provide tools and ideas for creating a great workplace and environment. In Drive, Pink shows that the reward and punishment theory of motivation does not work well in the world we live in today. Instead, he says that motivation from within allows us to reach our true potential and in turn find happiness. And there are three types of internal motivation. There's mastery, autonomy, and purpose. Purpose is defined as the yearning to do work in the service of something larger than oneself. I believe each one of you has within a powerful sense of purpose that has taken you to this point. It is different for each of you. Workplace happiness in large measure is often explained by the alignment of your personal purpose and that of your employer. Do your best to seek out those types of places. In the last five or six years, I have found at least part of my purpose to be the desire to create and share as much information as possible about nursing related math. I wrote a new book during this time, uh, created a brand new website so that anyone in the world can access these resources. Autonomy. This is the urge to direct one's own life. Autonomy allows us to be creative. Employers that recognize the value of autonomy will find ways to offer you choice within the framework of your job duties. Listen carefully in job interviews for clues from potential employers that some autonomy is possible. For me, I've been fortunate to be given the space and time to create. There's nothing in my teacher's contract that says I must write things, um, publish information on the web, or help publish videos on YouTube. But these are things I really, really want to do. And I've been blessed to have supervisors 
who have allowed me to be creative. Perhaps that is why I've been at South Post Tech 31 years. Mastery is the urge to get better and better at something that matters. If you are doing what you love, you will constantly find ways to learn and improve. Recall your experiences at the best clinical sites. Did you feel comfortable asking nurses and doctors questions so that you could better understand something? If so, these places value mastery. Are you aware of medical facilities that make frequent training opportunities available? Do they offer tuition reimbursement for those seeking higher degrees? These places value mastery too. And it's your turn now. As you learn and grow, you'll have opportunities to share what you have learned. Help whenever possible, the next wave of nursing students along their journey to mastery. When you teach, I guarantee that you're gonna learn something too. Best wishes to all of you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Pete. He is an inspiration. Next, we invite Katie Kiekeffer to share memories of the nursing program at Southwest Tech and provide encouragement for the future. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. After assessing myself and my fellow nursing students over the past year, the nursing diagnosis I have come up with is excessive stress related to chronic exams, secondary to nursing school, as evidenced by uncontrolled crying, extreme exhaustion, and hysteria. My name is Katie Kiekeffer. I am a member of the graduating class of 2021 and our Student Nurses Association president. Uh, first off, I wanna say we did it. And thank you to everyone who has helped us get to this point, instructors, faculty, family, friends, and fellow classmates. Although this wasn't how we expected to finish our first or second year of nursing school due to COVID, we were still able to successfully finish as the ambitious, aspiring nurses we set out to be. We successfully navigated both this historic and unique environment that the pandemic has challenged us with. I don't know if I can speak for everyone here, but I think back to our first day in class and how overwhelmed, terrified, anxious, and unprepared we all were for the roller coaster of nursing school. Throughout this journey, we have all endured countless moments of laughter as well as tears that has gotten us to this point. None of us could have planned for the curveball that the pandemic threw us, but thankfully our amazing intelligent nursing faculty worked tirelessly to ensure that we met our nursing competencies and clinical hours. We have all grown from the timid nursing students we once were into knowledgeable, experience-seeking LPNs or RNs. From the beginning, we were taught there is a right and a wrong answer, and the nursing school gives us select all that apply, and while that's correct, it's not the most correct. I am so proud of each and every one of us and cannot wait to see what our future holds and what we accomplish. I am confident that we will be resilient nurses who will persevere and make an impact in our careers and our patients' lives from this extraordinary challenges we have been faced with during this pandemic. This is a very exciting time for all of us, but I encourage each of us to stay focused and finish strong. In the words of Florence Nightingale, how very little can be done in the spirit of fear. Thank you all for being here and congratulations to our nursing students on this accomplishment. Thank you, Katie, for the memories and the encouraging words. Pinning ceremonies are a wonderful tradition that has been held within Southwest Tech for many years. The ceremony is a time where nursing graduates receive their nursing pin from the nursing faculty. It is a symbolic welcoming of the newly graduated nurses into the nursing profession, following years of hard work and dedication. We know how meaningful this day is, not just for you, but for your friends and family. And we know how hard it must be to know that your special day is now being done virtually due to COVID-19. However, with the greatest appreciation for you and your hard work, nursing faculty have put together this virtual pinning celebration for you and your loved ones. It should be noted that we are celebrating you on a very special date in the nursing profession, Nurses Day. Next, I ask Dean Larson to come forward again for faculty introductions and the virtual pinning video celebration. Thank you, Misty. 
many people contribute to the success of, the, of our candidates here tonight. Those include our administrative professionals, um, Denise Jansen, Janet Giese, Jen Reynolds, and our advisor, Pauline Wetter. A, a special thank you and acknowledgement of our faculty members, Dawn Adkins, Justine Spargrove, Vicki Rundle, Pam Bartles, Tiffany Cote, Maria Kindry, Angela Starkey, and Jenna Taylor and, and Darcy Kelsch, who deserve special thanks for all of their work in putting together tonight's ceremony. And with those thanks, we next move on to the pinning.
At this time, I do ask all nursing candidates to please turn your microphones and cameras on. Stand to recite the International Council of Nurses Pledge together as a nursing tradition. In the full knowledge of the task I'm undertaking, I promise to take care of the sick the skill and understanding I I ask that all candidates now mute their mics, please. Thank you. And thank you for being here to share this joyous occasion. Special thanks to our families, friends, our instructors, Dean Cindy Larson, and Friends of Nursing recipient, Pete Esser. Thanks again for participating in the pinning ceremony.